When George Lucas first released Star Wars, the original trilogy, uh, the special effects were a really big deal for that time. They'd never been seen before. Uh, they are pretty advanced for that time period. In that same vein, I can see why he chose to make the prequel trilogy in a similar way. He used, at the time, the state of the art, uh, graphics and special effects and CGI and green screen that he could because that was, to him, one of the staples of his original trilogy is that he used the advanced state-of-the-art kind of special effects that he used for original Star Wars. He wanted to do the same type of thing for the prequel trilogy and use the the most state-of-the-art uh, film technology at that time. Now, it's been a little over 30 years since the original trilogy came out, so obviously the special effects of that time are no longer state-of-the-art. I mean, we can basically make films with those kind of graphics from our iPhones. As the films grew, uh, the impact of the special effects of that time was lessened and the type of special effects, the realism, the models, the puppets, kind of became a beloved aspect of the original trilogy. And that's one of the reasons a lot of people didn't like the prequel trilogy and another reason they didn't like the remasters of the original, of the original trilogy where they added all these special effects that they didn't need to add. A lot of people feel like they ruined the feel of Star Wars, the realism, the models, the puppets, they ruined that in Star Wars. They even mentioned this at the end of Fanboys when they mentioned that you should keep the models and the puppets and the, the bad special effects because at this point in time, Yes, the special effects of that time are no longer state of the art. So the fact of these realism and these models and these big set pieces and puppets have become an aspect of Star Wars that people have come to love. And because of that, I really feel that J.J. Abrams was the right choice as director for Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. I've yet to see a film by J.J. Abrams or a TV show by J.J. Abrams that I didn't like. Everything I've seen from him has been, if not one of my favorite shows or movies, has definitely been up there. Something that he's really good at is he's good at movie magic. Real set pieces and real explosions and effects to make whatever he's filming as real as possible. When he doesn't have to use special effects or CGI or green screen, he doesn't. J.J. Abrams is just really good about staying as real as he can with his movies and his TV shows. Uh, he uses real set pieces, he uses real explosions, and you can see that he absolutely does this in Star Wars The Force Awakens. So much of that movie was just so real. There were real set pieces, there were real puppets. There's a scene where they are surrounded by a bunch of different kinds of aliens and most, if not all of them, are uh, animatronic or costume or puppets. They're all real. Not because J.J. Abrams has been a longtime fan of Star Wars, but because of his use of movie magic, I really believe that he was just the right choice for this movie. The fact that he is a fan is definitely a bonus because for him it would kind of be a labor of love. He would not only want to just make a good movie, he would want to make a good continuation of something that he genuinely enjoys, something that he's a fan of. When they first announced that J.J. Abrams was going to be the director, uh, this, was my, this was my thought that uh, because of the way he makes movies, he'll stay true to how the original Star Wars was made. Could another director have done it? Sure. But knowing J.J. Abrams' work and after seeing the movie, I am uh, I was so nervous about it that this was going to be the movie that that just I lost J.J. Abrams with. But no, it wasn't. I love this movie. I love the way he made it. Uh, so I'm very relieved and excited and happy that J.J. Abrams was the right director to bring... Uh, to bring us a new Star Wars film when I think every Star Wars fan was so nervous about how it was going to be because we've been burned in the past. So I'm just relieved. So I genuinely believe that J.J. Abrams was the right director for this movie. I don't know that he's directing the next two, but hopefully he will have some part of it or they will find a director who will stay true to that kind of movie making that made The Force Awakens such not only a good continuation of the Star Wars saga, but also just a great movie. Were you worried about J.J. Abrams directing Star Wars The Force Awakens as much as I am? Let me know in the comments. Follow me on all the internets. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Share the video so other people can join the conversation, and check back later so we can get out some more. Thanks for watching, and have fun. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk...